you know, to make synthetic graphite, you have to start with a very high quality petroleum uh, or pitch coke. Um, and, um, you know, that material you have to eat at about 2,600 degrees, which is almost the temperature of the sun. And you have to do that for 48 hours if you That's want to transform extreme, yeah, that material. So you can imagine, you know, you're starting with a petroleum product at the beginning, and then you're putting, you know, a huge amount of electricity into the material in order to get it to that temperature. And then you have to basically let it cool off because when it's at 2,600 degrees, it takes almost two to three weeks to cool. Yeah. So you cannot touch it. You know, you have to leave it there. And so, you know, you're, you're releasing all this CO2 and this heat that you're not using. And so when you make a calculation between you know, how much CO2 are you actually consuming in order to produce natural graphite versus integraphite? graphite? Very often it's a five to one ratio, you know, yeah. where the amount of CO2 emitted by the production of synthetic graphite is five times what you would do for a comparable natural graphite. So, and people are paying a lot more attention to that than they did in the past, you know. What?